Let us pray. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning to thank you and to praise you. We are gathered here, dear Father, because one of us, an apostle of Jesus Christ, has left us. And in our hearts there is sadness. We are going to miss the many prayers that you used to pray for us. We are going to miss the love that we received from him as family. And this hour of parting is a difficult one. But we now call on your Heavenly Father that you may fill us with your Spirit so that we don't see that which you're going to miss but instead be focused on that which lies ahead. The resurrection of the dead. The reunion with our loved ones. And eternal life in the kingdom of God. Please awaken these thoughts in our hearts during this funeral service. That this becomes a moment of comfort. A moment of strength and even joy. Bless the word that we are about to use. Allow us to understand it in the right way. So that it becomes strengthened in our hope in the return of Jesus. For we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 My dear brothers and sisters, dear family of our beloved Apostle Jacob, Jacob, Dear friends and all who have come to mourn with us, please receive my condolences and also the condolences of the chief apostle. I am also appreciating the, the fact that you have all come in large numbers. Uh, this is also a sign that you have great respect for Apostle Jacob Nyamai. And you also loved him. Thank you for coming to be with us on this day. For this funeral service, we have a Bible word from the book of Genesis chapter 5 verse 24 it says this and Enoch walked with God and he was not for God took him Please be seated and the choir can sing.
Asante sana. Ni mubaya mno. Dear Sister Phoebe Nyamai. Nendoa uh, Sister Phoebe Nyamai. Dear children. Siana. Dear grandchildren. Zuku. Dear respected mourners. Endoa alatu kuea. Welcome to this funeral service. Namudo kekeade ni kikia madiko. It is the last service that the apostles uh, Jacob has conducted. Nikiade kia mudia mutuma Jacob kilo kuikweka. He has drawn us all together. No twenty that we can hear his message for the last time. He has traveled in this region preaching the gospel. And the center of his message has been won. That Jesus Christ will return. We should be prepared for his return. And that is the same message you hear today again. That Jesus Christ will return. And we should be prepared for his return. This hour of parting is a difficult one for all of us who are here because we loved the apostle. But it is even more difficult for the family because he was very close to his family. I'm very convinced that the apostle prayed a lot for his family. And his family is going to miss his prayers. He also had good advice for his children. And now they are going to miss his advice. That makes this moment of parting a difficult moment. Personally, I'm going to miss him also. Because I've worked with him for some time. And I can say he was a competent apostle. I enjoyed working with Apostle Nyamai because he knew his job and he didn't need any supervision to complete his job. He made his program and fulfilled his program without any supervision. So I'm going to miss a very good worker. He was also a member of the board of New Apostolic Church Kenya. And I enjoyed working with him. He made very good contributions to the board. Whenever we sat together, he gave contributions that were for the benefit of the church. You know, some people, when they come to the board, they always see that this is now an opportunity for me to fill my pocket. Or to push my agenda on the board. But he was different. On the board, 
He always made contributions that were for the benefit of the church. So I'm going to miss a good board member. And that also makes it difficult for me at this hour of fighting. And now he has left us. He has gone, gone into the realm of the departed. He has joined the other apostles who preceded us. He had joined our brothers and sisters who died before. And this is a comfort for all of us. Because the apostle is now experiencing what he used to preach. For all these years he's been preaching that there is life after death. Now, he doesn't need to be taught that there's life after death. He taught it out of faith. He believed it before he saw it. And now he's experiencing it himself. And he knows now that there's life after death. He has been freed. Freed from the torment of the disease that was in his body. He has been freed from the possibility of committing sin. And as a church we can say, the apostle kept the faith. He fulfilled his mission. He has gone well. And now we have a, this Bible word. It is a very short verse that says, Enoch walked with God. And he was not. Because God took him. Because Enoch walked with God, he did not die a natural death. He was taken away by God. When we read this verse, it reminds us of the rapture. The rapture that will happen when Jesus comes back. Those who believe in Jesus and are walking with him today will be caught up they will go to heaven without having to die a natural death. And those who will have died a natural death before that will be resurrected and then together will go to be with the Lord in heaven. So that's the first thought that comes in mind when you read that verse. That when we teach that there will be a rapture, we are not teaching something strange. We are teaching something that has happened before. Because Enoch was caught up into heaven and didn't have to die a natural death. Another person who walked with God is Noah. The Bible says Noah walked with God. And because Noah walked with God, when God brought judgment on the earth, he spared Noah's life. 
Noah and his family were saved from the floods. Because he walked with God. And then Jesus said, When he will return, things will be going on in the normal. It will be like the days of Noah. Life was going on normally. People are marrying and getting married. People are going, were going on with their normal business. Until the one who walked with God had been removed and put into safety that was Noah and then God brought judgment on the rest of the people another person who was also who also walked with God is Elijah Elijah walked with God and even suffered a depression because of his personal zeal for God. And the Bible records that Elijah did not die a natural death. He was caught up in a chariot of fire. So you see, that's the second person who did not die a natural death. Because he walked with God. And because he walked with God, God spared him of death. Just like he spared Enoch. Death. So those who are ready to walk with God, that means walking with Jesus Christ today, can be sure that when he comes they will not die a natural death and even if they die they will be raised from the dead that is the good thing about walking with God so what is this walking with God what is it this is what it means. It means wrestling for divine blessings. You know that story of Jacob? With the angel at night. He was hanging on the angel. Even though he had been dislocated at the hip. And he said, I will not let you go until you bless me. Jacob valued blessings. His brother did not. So what is this thing called blessing? There are many definitions that people have come up with concerning this word blessing that we have our own definition in the New Apostolic Church. The blessing is an empowerment to remain faithful to God. Blessing is not natural riches. Blessing is not cars. Blessing is not houses. Blessing is not a lot of money. Because even the non-believers have these things. Blessing is something else. It's an empowerment from God to remain faithful to God. And when you have been blessed, there will be some effects. The effects of blessing 
you live a life that honors God. You live a life that gains victory over sin. And you have hope of eternal life in the kingdom of God. Those are the effects of divine blessing. And Jacob knew that this is something important. He fought for this blessing. He ran away with the blessing of his brother. And went to his uncle's place and he prospered there. Several years he buried the two sisters, Leah and Rachel. Several livestock. When his uncle tried to shortchange him, he was not successful. He was a blessed man. But he was also prosperous materially. Now, when he was coming back home, he met with his brother Esau. And the Bible says this when they met. The Bible says Jacob was terrified. He was really afraid of his brother. Because he knew he had stolen the blessing. But the moment they met, his brother was so happy to meet with him. Jacob tried to give him 570 animals as a gift. He said, my brother, take this as a gift. You know, he was feeling guilty for what he had done. But when he offered 570 animals to Esau, Esau said, no, my brother, no, don't worry. He was rich. So Jacob was rich. Esau was also rich. But who had the blessing? The blessing was with Jacob. But, but both of them were rich. So what is the blessing if both of them were rich? If you want to know what the blessing is, look at how their life went on. Jacob continued to live a life that honored God. Together with all his descendants, they honored God. And they have given the world a Bible. This whole Bible is the story of the children of Jacob and his, their descendants. They have blessed us because he was blessed. And Jacob even has a whole country with his name. The nation of Israel is, is called after him. Now that's what blessing does. But it even goes into the future. Hope of eternal fellowship in the kingdom of God. It's a man who was blessed. He knew the value of blessing. And he wrestled for the blessing until he got it. So what is it? Walking with God? is wrestling for the divine blessings. I want to have it. I will not let you go until you bless me. 
Jacob was a fighter. Yakobo ae wako kitea. Fighting for divine blessings. Ako kitea wadimu. And he got the blessings. Nani wa ukwatiye. Second one. Ndua kele. Walking with God. Uenda ni anangai. Means refraining from committing sin. Uona nasia kunganga na kutia nae. Because sin separates from God. Nondo nae iduta ni asia anangai. And leads to death. Joseph was very much aware of this. When he was serving in the house of Potiphar, the wife of Potiphar brought, came to him and made some advances. And Joseph said this. How can I do such great wickedness and, and sin against God. He knew that this can separate me from God. Therefore he refrained from it. But then he ended up in prison. While he was in prison, God also went to prison. Because Joseph walked with God. So walking with God means refraining from committing sin. Another one. Persevering in suffering is walking with God. Suffering does not come from God. But sometimes God allows suffering to come to believers. When that happens, we are supposed to persevere. When you are persevering, you are like someone who is in a gymnasium. Someone who is carrying weights. Carrying 10 kg, it's a bit painful. 10 kg on this side, 10 kg on this side. But you keep on going. Before long, you can lift 20 kgs. Before long, you can lift 40 on each side. And as you do that, something is happening to you your muscles are growing and now you, suddenly you have huge muscles and you can carry heavy things if you persevere during the time of suffering something happens to you Something changes in you. Your spiritual muscles are strengthened. And before you realize, people are coming to you for advice. Those who are going through suffering, they come to you for advice. Because suffering brings character. You have a certain character that attracts people to you. And this character also brings hope. So suffering develops a believer's life. But only if you persevere. If you are the kind of person that suffers for two days, and you have left the faith in those two days then your spiritual muscles will not develop if every time you experience problems you are running to a sorcerer you are running to the witches to sort you out your spiritual muscles will remain weak but if you hang in there until the Lord saves you at the end of it you will be much stronger and you will be even closer to God just like in the story of Job so 
Persevering is walking with God. Again, Wenge. accepting the will of God. God has power and authority over all people and all things. You cannot question his decision. You cannot question his plan. He is the king. And sometimes human beings want to challenge God. They ask God, but why are you doing this? Working with God means doing what God wants you to do. So how do you know what God wants you to do? Jesus Christ tells us what God wants us to do. He came into a city and there was a man on a tree. And he said to the man, please come down. Today I will eat in your house. And this man came down and he was so happy. And the people complained. What is this nonsense? What are you doing with sinners? But Jesus challenged them. He is also a son of Abraham. Yeah, I should also visit him. I also came for him. Visited him at home. And at the end of that family visit, Zacchaeus made an important decision. I'll give back that which I took. In an unlawful way, I'll give it back. That's the teaching of Jesus. And that is the will of God. So, doing the will of God is walking with God. And there are many other instances in the scriptures that we find. When Jesus is invited in the home of Simon, while he's there, a woman walks in and she starts cleaning his feet. And people are angry. What is going on here? If this man was a prophet, he could have known what kind of woman he started with. Why are you suffering? It's me. He's washing my feet. What does it concern you. That's the will of God that even those who are not wanted God wants them in. It's not easy but that is the will of God. Doing the will of God is walking with God. Maybe the last one the will of God. Walking with God means pondering over the word of God in your heart. When you hear it from the altar, let it move in your heart. Don't let it be stolen by the evil one. The evil one wants to take it away immediately. Don't lose the word of God that you have received. Keep it in your heart. And keep on pondering over it. That is walking with God. We have a beautiful story in Genesis. The Bible says Joseph had a dream. And in his dream, he dreamed that the sun and the moon and the eleven stars were bowing down to him. And when he told his brothers this dream, they were offended. 
because they knew the meaning of this dream. They were very angry with him. And, and even his father was angry. But the Bible says that his father Jacob pondered over these words. He kept it in his heart and if something has been spoken and throughout his life he was remembering what was said until it happened. Dear brothers and sisters, let's walk with God. Let us Walk with God because if you walk with God, you are guaranteed you will not die. And even if you die, you will live again. Just like our, those who preceded us. Those who walked with God had a chance to enter heaven without having to die a natural death. Now we come to the apostle. As a church we can say he walked with God. Because we saw his life. There are some things in his life we saw and we knew he's walking with God. The first thing that we saw is that he had the law of Christ in his heart. And he allowed the law of Christ to influence everything about his life. The law of love your neighbor, love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And that's the reason that he quit his job in the, in the bank and committed himself wholeheartedly to serving his neighbor. He did that voluntarily, nobody forced him, because he wanted to help his neighbor to receive eternal life. And over the years, the apostle has helped many, many, many to find Christ. Over the years, he has lifted burdens over the hearts of many because the law of Christ lived in his heart. And you can say he walked with God. Secondly, he enjoyed his ministry as an apostle. Everywhere he went, he was found talking about the work of God. He didn't have much free time. He was always in the field. The apostle was conducting an average of 15 services in a month. I see some people conduct only four services in a month. And, and then they complain that they're working too much for the church. That the church needs to look after them. But he was conducting 15 on average. That is removing the seminars and the burials and the weddings. He was fully committed to the work of God. He enjoyed the fellowship of brothers and sisters. And spent even more time with them than he spent with his family. He enjoyed his job. He set goals and targets. And he achieved those goals and those targets. Difficulties did not stop him. They were there. Since, since the time he became a minister, there were many difficulties. But they didn't stop him. 
sold out for Jesus. And we can say he walked with God. Another thing he served in the fear of God. He had great respect for his ministry as an apostle of Jesus Christ. He knew that he will never be qualified for this job. He said, I will do it. I'm not qualified, but I will do it. And I will do my best. I'm not, I'm not worthy. But if God asks me to do it, I can do it with Him, with His help. That was the attitude of, his, of our God's servant. He went all out to do God's work. I didn't care about any other obstacles that would come up on the way. In fact, when there was resistance, that's when he worked even harder. And the last one, he worked to bring success to Jesus. Not to himself. And that's why he didn't care whether his preaching was accepted. Or not. He didn't care whether it was difficult or not. He just did what he did. Because he was working for Jesus. And if there's going to be any victory. If there's going to be any celebration. If there's going to be any success. The success belongs to Jesus. And not to Jacob Nyamai. That was his attitude. We can say as a church, he was a good apostle. He has done a good job. He has kept the faith. He has run his race. He has finished. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Gives Thank you, dear Apostle. Amen. 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 The choir will sing a song. We have quite a big team here, but I'll not call all of them. The Apostle is a member of the International Apostles' Body. He is an international man. Therefore, we also have an international team here. So I invite Apostle Zakaria Deoli from Tanzania to come and also say a few words about the Apostle.
mpendwa Dada yetu mpendwa mke marehemu tumaitu nyamai endwa mtendesia wa mtume waitu nyamai wapendwa watoto pamoja na wajukuu endwa siana na nzuku na wapendwa kina kaka na kina dada katika Kristo na endwa etu asa na anasa zinu wa Kristo pamoja na watumishi wote ambao tuko mbali hapa Mbona hapo kumi onde alati vandu ni vano na mshukuru baba yetu mbinguni kwa jana nafasi ya neema ambayo unaweza kupata siku ya leo. Ni mtungia mbea ngewe ndio tu nilikuwa ndo amanya uona pia kuko atamanya na mbunzi. Ya kuya hapa kumsikiliza rafiki yetu mpendwa mtendakazi pamoja nasi katika chama la Mungu. Kwa kabado kumuma sia umo wetu mcheria wewe ambaye naitu. Ah kwa niaba ya Watanzania bondo wa wa Tanzania nimeleta salamu nyingi sana za pole kwenu nyote nenete ngedi nyingi muno sia pole tulipopata habari hizi tulistuka sana ila tuwapatie ubo uri tuwatelemie muno lakini unajua kwamba kazi ya Mungu haina makosa ili ni tuisika na uyawanga hii duingwa ibitio katika sala ya bwana kuna sehemu ya kusema kwamba mabenzi yako yatimizwe zenu ambayo ya mwe ibeki lungukia sia kwenda kwa kwekeke unafikia kwenye neno hili mapenzi yako yatimizwe wapi kiende tu isia kwenda kwa kwekeke masikio ya jambo unapokea unajua kama ni mapenzi ya Mungu bondo wa uke lake ndio kwa tano manyani kwenda kwa ya, kwa, ya kwamba yametimizwa kana ni kwa nia kwa ni mapenzi ya Mungu yametimizwa kumtoa rafiki yetu mpendwa mtendakazi pamoja nasi bondo wa uli kwenda kwa ngai kwa nia kumosa mtumwa mtendaji wa bwana itu nilimpenda sana na alimfahamu vizuri sana mtume um, nyamai ninamwendete muno na ninamwisi muno mtumwa nyamai utampane mwingine alikuwa rafiki yangu kwa angali ingi ane mnyanye wa kwa e, kumbuka maya mwisho tukwa pamoja pale na ilobi milele uteli nili kena mwenye wa mwisho tuwe na kema la ilobi uteli wa milele tuwepata mda kwa pamoja utupia wa wili ni tuwe li wetuwe wa mwe tuwe li ni kwa ni kimuulizi ya habari ya mafanikio ya lipoti za sadaka kwenye ene waki na hili yungi mkuli ya undu wa ndembo kilunguni kiaki lakini sio tu hivyo lakini kwenye kazi ya mungu kwa ujumu na tiyo uwingu waka endi ya wanawiani wanga hii wande tuwepata mda mzuli sana kubadisha na mawazo na hii Nitu hedi wena ibidesio kusuwanya mamwe Lakini bado walisimamia kitu kimoja kumba kazi ya mungu ichipwe na fasi ya kwanza Hindi baiki mkimu matete ye muno na wendi wa wange hiwe hiwe kilungu ni kambe Hilo neno unilipenda sana Ndetu isu na ambiendie muno Kwa sabu ni neno zuri ya jama kumba kazi ya mungu ichipwe na fasi ya kwanza katika maisha yetu Nide tunzio kana uya wange hini mwosi kilungu kambe uya vayu ni witu Hasa sisi watumishu wangu Na muno hindi adhoku mimanga hii Mtume eto ilaya metumika sana mahali hapa Mtuma wito wa kilungu ni watu tuko mamuno bano sina si haja ya kuyarudia yote ambayo yametamka juu ya sifa na kazi ambayo mpendo wetu alifanya mtume nyamai baina bata wao tungi la kionde kila wao wetayunua uteli wa wa mtume nyamai upande mwingine Mungu naye anachoa kwa ngali lengi ngai ona keni wisi kwa sababu macho ya Mungu yako kwanza na nondo medo manga hii me belabe mwitu asa kama mtume wila ameona hayo basi Mungu anayeona hayo Edwa mtume wa Kilungu na Kiu ona ngai ni ona Kiu kwa sababu yale aliyosema ni kweli kabisa. Nondo kila waweta ni wao ni wao pio. Ah ni huzuni kwa familia kwa sababu baba hayupo aliyekuwa anaongoza nyuma. Ni uh, ke baba amusi nondo ndende bo na unaona tongo ese amusi. Lakini ningependa niongee tu kidogo kwa mama nyamai nyamai pamoja na watoto na wajukuu. Hili ni kwani kunena kwa nini kwa mtendesi wa mtuku wa mtumwa kwa maana siana na nzuku. Wakati mtume yeye alipokuwa ameongea habari ya wale manabii waliokuwa wametangulia, ila mtume wa Kilungu nena ilua Daniel Mabiti alikuwa ameongea habari ya nabii Elia. Ni wana na ilua madhani Elia. Elia alikuwa anatembea na Elisha. Elia maana sasa huyu ana Elisha. Kila alipokuwa anakwenda Elia, Elisha yeye alikuwa nyuma yake wala Elia wenda Elisa aibo kila sehemu alikwenda na kila ibinda aina na bo na yake lakini siku ilifika ndio ile nyawa bikie akaambiwa kwamba huyo unayekwenda naye leo atatwaliwa atakwenda na usu wenda na yake umundu nokubulwa Elisha siku hiyo aliongeza speed ya kuwa na Elia karibu karibu kabisa Elisa ongela bio ya kwa kwa na Elia kwa sababu alitaka aweze kushuhudia Elia anapotoka bado naendi yeye kwenda kumanya mwenyewe Elia ukwambata Aliona Elisha aliona mambo mengi aliyoyatenda Elia. Elisa onye mambo mengi alawekie Elia. Wakati mwingine alipokuwa amesafiri kuta kwenye maji ya mto, maji mengi sana. Ila mengi usi ni wenda kiuki ingi. Elia alichukua vazi lake akapiga ile maji yakatawanyika. Elia osa nguo yake abu na kila abu na la mande na matani sia. Wakavuka. Mainga. 
Sasa siku ile wakati akiwa anasubiri aone Elia anapochukuliwa na endeleleto one Elia aibudua kweli ghafla gari ya moto ikapita ilifika mahali pale ikamchukua Elia ametuki also ni ikasia mwake lakini Elisha alishikilia kwanza na Elia na Elisa ile wako ndete nguo ya Elia akukubali ile bazi ni muondoke dai tikila nguo isu ni mutie Elia akaondoka akambakia Elia akambakiza Elisha na bazi Elia ambata na amutia Elisa nguo Elia akaondoka sana Elia aenda Elisha akabakia na bazi Elisa atiwa na nguo Elisha akawa anageuza sana narudi Ila Elia we, Elisa yeye ni sawa Elia bwana wake ameshamchukua Elia ambaye ni bwana wake alikuwa anamtangulia kuongoza kitina wangai kumosa bwana wake Elia yule amtongwesia lakini wakati anarudi akawa anajiuliza na asiogeto eikulia nikifika pale kwenye mto mkubwa nani atakaye nivucha mahali pale na vikaba la usini ndio la ebinge bau maana Elia ndio alikuwa msaada wangu aliyekuwa amenivusha kwenye maji ya remi Nuno Elia ni wewe utaidi wako na muombe ingi sio usini usimu hiyo ndio kingi lakini akiwa anawaza ini aisonia u kufika pale kwenye maji mengi ila wabikie bube na kiu kingi akumka kwamba mkononi mwake na bazi la Elia alikanaga na koko ni kwake ena nguo ya Elia na alishapata mfano mzuri kwa Elia kwamba alifika kwenye maji alipiga ma, maji ile ma, na bazi lake maji yakagawanyika sehemu na ni wote kale kana nzio kana ila ile wabikia wale manzi ama kunie na nguo yake kama matani sia. Kachukua ile fazi akapiga kwenye maji akawa kwa kwa jina la Elia. Na awasa ile nguo na kuna ala manzi na asisi tu ania Elia. Maji akagawanyika. Nikuki abikie utani sia. Elisha akapita mapema. Eliza abikia kuinga. Kwa hiyo bado roho ile ya Elisha ilikuwa ndani ya roho ya Elia ilikuwa ndani ya Elisha alikuwa ameshachukua roho ya Elia. Kondwa ube ba wa Elia wa hizi ni wa Elisa ayabikie kuosa kwa sababu alikuwa naye wakati wote. Nondo aina aina na sana yake. Sasa nataka niongee na mama mke yako ya mpendo wetu mtume Nyamai pamoja na watoto na wajukuu. Yule ndiye kunena na mtetezi wa mtume Nyamai pamoja na siana na nzuku. Ni kweli kibinadamu mtasema kwamba mme wangu ndiye alikuwa msaada wangu. Kwa kila kitu sasa ameondoka itakuwaje. Ni wote mtu na watu wasie. Sasa atamkatisha mtumia wetu na yuni waingie. Ni kweli baba yetu alikuwa msaada kwa ajili yetu. Sasa ameondoka itakuwaje. Ni wote ile wetu, ni wale wote wetu na ni waingie yuko ile waata. Wajukuu nasema kwamba ni kweli baba yetu alikuwa msaada wetu. Sasa ameondoka. Sasa itakuwaje. Zuku mkasia umai uma wetu anaye utaje wetu yetu kaekata. Labda tutaishije na tukae kala pili hata nataka niwashauri na kuweza kuwaomba nienda kwa mama siao na ni mwisube nyamai alikuwa na Mungu wake nyamai anainangai wake Mungu wa nyamai bado angali hai ngai wa nyamai eo dai Mungu wa nyamai bado mnai ngai wa nyamai mwenake nitakapokuja shida yani na yote ila bado na dhina na wewe muombeni Mungu wa nyamai atuwasaidie muboye ngai wa nyamai akamtevia nendeni kwenye nyumba ya Mungu mtapata msaada yule nyumbani angai mko kwa rote kwa sababu huko ndiko ambako nyamai ipata msaada kwa Mungu nundo kwa wewe ndipo nyamai wa kwa rote ni wangai nyumba ya Mungu mtapata msamaha wa dhambi huyu nyumbani angai mko kwa kwata wewe wangai kwenye nyumba ya Mungu mtapata neno la uzima yule nyumbani angai mko kwa kwata ndeto ya dhambi ndeni kanisani mapata nguvu ya kumkaribia Mungu yule kanisani mko kwa kwata vinyo wa kumdhengi angai hata majaribu hayata washinda ona moleto maika mshinda dhiki haita washinda ona madhina maika mkilisha naomba tunzeni imani hii kondo au ni mwezi wa msubi mwekio huu kila alichokuwa amechitunza mpendo wetu mtume nyamai kila unasubia mwendo mtume wetu nyamai nanyi kitunze ota huu kisubie hii sheni maisha ya maombi ikala hii dai wako boya mkiishi katika njia hiyo mwekala huu siku moja mtakutana na ndugu yetu nyamai ndenya umwe mkakumana na mwendo wa hitu nyamai niseme neno moja tu kwa hiyo kwa sababu cha ufuno wa Yohana niwe ndeto imwe ibukuni au bwani inasema heri wafu afao katika bwana wapate kupumzika baada ya taabu zao yasi ni adibe alama kwa ma na kutia madhina ma yuandi maana matendo yao yafuatana nayo nundo mawe ya moma kama atia matendo ya ndugu yetu nyamai yanafuatana naye mawe ya ma mtumwa nyamai kama atia taabu zote haziko tena madina maibo yingi magonjwa yana nafasi tena mwao maina mwaja yingi amepumzika akisubiri siku ile kubwa ya ajabu no dhumu ya yeye la mwenye ulamu nene ambayo wanakwao wameimba ula ana aini maina takuwa ni siku ya ajabu ukedi wa mwenye wa usenya siku ya kurudi kwa bwana mwenye wa kusema kwa mwenye tunaisubiri kwa mkuu wa ajabu twende kwa kulima kunene mpendwa rafiki yangu na mtendakazi mwenzetu nyamai 
mwendo mnyanya wako na mtedia mwendo umeutimiza ah no mimi nilisema kazi ya Mungu umeitenda uya wangu ni utedishe bwana akupumzishe vizuri mwe akodhomu sana sana yana wewe atenda maundo ala wekie na si tutaweza kufuata hayo na kuweza kwa enzi hayo na ile tukawa mati yana kwa maana ya mwana wa mbe tumetengana kimwili tu ile ile tuachia na kimwili lakini siku inakuja kutakutana tena ende mwenye ni uoke tu kwa maana yake lakini siku ile kuu ya ajabu na usubiri kuliko bwana Yesu na mwenye roho mnene tuende na mwenye wa Yesu bwana kusaidia kuliko kwenda mwe yako tege kuwe ndiye mbele yenu na si nyuma yetu mbe waitu ni tribu itina kwa hiyo nasi tuko nyuma yenu na itu tribu itina wenyewe kwa hiyo kama tutatunza imani Jeko ana ruka sovia mwingine. Baka bwana Yesu atakapoje. Kufikia na Yesu wewe uka. Bwana hawezi kwenda kutunza nafsi yako. Mwe ene na kusovia dai wako. Bwana wabariki sana. Mwe ya majime. Amen. Amen. Why we seek another song? Now I cross into Kenya. Hai nimekuna wadi yonge. One of the board members apostle Christine Kinywa from Meru. Mwe wa board Apostle Christine Kinyua kuma Meru. No kutokuma. Why? Asante sana waibaji ni mbea mno aini wimbo huu ambao mmeuimba kuhusu kurudi kwetu wadi usimu aina yulua kusema kitu eh ni wimbo ambao unaambatana au unashikana na yale tumelawia leo ni wadi ulau ufuate na kila toa maji wa muuzi wapendwa katika Kristo endwa deni wa Kristo ninajua ndani ya moyo wangu nene si zenu wango ya kwa wakati mtu amepoteza rafiki yake ibinda ila mtu wachi wa nimunyanya eh au amepoteza mtoto au kama vile mwanadada yetu amepoteza bwana kana achiwa ni mwana kana ondo mwitu hasa utiwe ni uh, mtumia wake na wale wote wamekuja kuomboleza nasi na onde ala mokie uh, kuyaoma na itu tulipopata ujumbe huu wa kukufa kwa ndugu yetu rafiki mtume nyamai bila tu akwati ubo wa kwetwa kwa mtume nyamai kwa kipupi mtume wa wilaya ameelezea kwa ukubi mtume wa kilungu nuelesia mtume nyamai alijiunga na kikundi cha wale wanaangalia kanisa au wale wanazungumza maneno na mikakati ya kupeleka kanisa mbele nyamai alijiunga nasi tuma nyamai ni wa kwa ni pamoja alama sio basi ya mipango ya kanisa kodina mbe ya kilo imezungumzwa bila ameubiri maundu maki beba ni mawe tondu manyiti pia tulipokuwa tunakutana board of governors tulikuwa uh, tuna malengo ya kwamba tutasikia kwake 
Bila tu wako mana zama ya utongwe ni tuwezi ime maundu mana tu kwa rawala wei Na ata ingawa atuja kame ya kamigi kule tuliona yale yote alikontribute Ona kweli watu ina kalevina ya asani tunonye maundu alawe unekie So familia ya nyamai Kondu wa u musi wa nyamai Mama, watoto na wote ambao wamekuja kumufarizi leo Tenesia siana na onde ala moki kumukia kisia Mimi ni ngeomba tutu zishindwe ni na vifaranga wakuku Ni mwaya tuika sindwe ta siana siya nguku Vifaranga wakuku awashindwe kila wakati Siana siya nguku sisi na wakila ibinda Na kuna sababu Na pena kitumi Sababu ni kama vile mutume wa wilaya mesema tukae na uyu yesu mirele na mirele Kitumi ni kila kia wanone mutuma tuikale na Yesu usu tene na tene Na Yesu Kristo uzungumuza nasi kupitia kwa watumishi wake kila mara Na Yesu Kristo nune na naitu kwa zilawe ya tumi alukumi make kila ibinda Je, ni kuja hii Tunaelewa na ruga zake zote Ni tuelewa ni umanyisi wake uombe Vifaranga wa kuku Tusi ito wa kuku Wa haba ukambari Tu haba ukambari Kule kwetu meru Tuwa kule kuitu meru Na mwengu mzima Na dunia yonde Wanaelewa na ruha ya mama yake Alaka Nitu elewa Wa asia wa nye wao Na mituki Na waya hata ukisi mama Pare useme mimi ni mukamba wa Eli ya hii Ile ruha ni naongea isikize Ni mutoke Kule mmejifisha Hakuna mtoto wa kuku atatokea Na waya wonga mba ya wa asia Ni mukamba wa kuno Umalu kimu ni mkebide Wa hiyo mwengu wa asia usu Na tunapo wangalia kindari Na tuwa sise unduzu kwa nzini Awa watoto wakuku wawaja wenda hata nasari siku Tusu hitu wa mkutu ya di ona nasari Hata wawaja wenda hii ya wakati huu CBC Awaja wenda wajui Na maadhi kiso mkila kiko hitu hii mayadhi Na sikini sisi Hende hiji Ni watu ambao wamefika meaka ya kuelewa Nitu vikiete vinda ya kuelewa Na kile kinaweza kutusaidia sasa Na kila kitu tege yu Ni kushikiria ujumbe wa Yesu Kristo Ni kulumia kwa Umanisio wa Yesu Kristo Ni kufuatilia bile Yesu anasema Ni kuatia ulu Yesu nukwasia Mutumishi kuna mutumishi moja Amesema hapa Eri wanao kupa wakiwa nani ya Yesu Ne mutuku miwasia Ni adime alama kuzanze ni wa Yesu Kwa maana kazi zao zita wabuata Auta enda ati ukose kubuata Uta buatu hata mimi nita buatu Nunu mawe ya mo maka matia Nuidi ono mawe maku maka kuatia Mulipeane mubana Ekani nenga nenga leganyo Kumekopa karoni maali na ulipi, we We, mkopa wosi ye, we, nandunema Ita kufuata Mika kuatia Na ita kusumbua kapisa Mika kudhinya muno Au ujumbe umeletwa kwa thabau kama leo Kana utumanini wetu ye kithembe unika umundi Au useme, haa, hiyo iliseme Ilikuwa inazumumuzia kuhusu nyamai na familia Na ukwazi ya hizu inena yuluwa nyamai na musi wake Ata wewe rafiki yetu Onakue mnyanya ewa itu Neno hili nita kufuata Ndeto hii ika kuatia Ebu tuweke ekima ya mungu Nituike ui wanga hii Na nimalize na kitu kimoja tu Na nimi nukile kwa undu umetu Ukiangalia kwenye kitabu cha ufunuo Wasise kukuni ya ubuanyo Pare mustare wakwaza Kumi na ambili pare mustare wakwaza Ilungie kumi na ili mudia wambe Kapa siyo hiyo ni kumi na moja mustare wapili Naeda jibo uni Ilungia kumi na emu Ninaweza Ninaweza kusema kitu pengine Iwe kuna maali nime Naniwe tunu Naniwe tunu Naniwe tunu Ninasema kwa sababu ya hiyo Ya siya nunu wa u Walifata sifa Nima kwatie Ninani ya wa Ni ya wasu Ni kama hui tumetajiwa Eno Nitozu tuwa 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 Na kwa ata kukadi wa mana Ibrahimu wa kupata sifa vuri Amalamu na kadi wa mana Na akata kina aveli ya wa kupata sifa vuri Ona aveli na kadi wa mana Ni vizuri utabute kakitu Unajua sisi tuna Yale ambao tumezoea Mazoea Inapata umu Fata umepewa njina No siyo umanze Kwezi jitu kwa kwele Kwele ya naundu Kina umande kwezi jitu Na yale tumeambiwa sasa Ebu zoe ya letu Liwe ni kukana Yesu Kufanya kazi yake Baka mwisho Wata kama ni kifo Ifanywe Eka unulatu ika Kila hivi nda wedi Wini wikala na Yesu Kuvikia Ila tuivikia kumailu wanzi So wapendwa Kondwa uendwa Marafiki 
Familia ya nyam, mtume nyamai Musi wa mtume wa nyamai Ebu tushikirie kabisa Tulu mei kundu ni usu Tushikirie imani Tulu mei mwikioni Mwone ata kama ni nini Haita tutingiza Na wone Onele ni kia ukidu dingivya Tulipo zikia tu Kule meru kuzu nyamai Hila tuwewe kula meru yuluwa nyamai Hili tukusa No watu kwenye mwono tulikuja kunawakilishi ambao hata kama watapata nafasi nimepeana pole zao na wale tuliwaje nituwakie na ina nengene pole kwa ala tuwakie nao so mungu atusaidie kondo wa unga hii atutedie na situwe tayari kusikia na hitu tuibe tuibe na hitu tuibe na kulimia chochote ambacho tutambiwa na kuseo visa kila kia wazitu itakua amen amen You can go to Uganda now. We have Apostle Francis Mwesigwa. We can also come on Sunday. As the new apostolic family from Uganda, ta kanisa mweu wa tumwa kuma Uganda, I bring sincere condolences to the family. Nete ukia kisio wa mwanya kula kuimusi. Of the late apostle Jacob Nyamai. Kwa mduti wa mtumwa Jacob Nyamai. To those children of God. He has been serving as an apostle. Also to the district apostle and the rest of the apostles. For having received a gap. In our hearts, we are heavy when we heard of the death of the apostle. Go see to see anyone away to Ila to see at our body report ya kuduchi wa kwa mutumwa And we are all longing to receive consolation Na hivi onze to enda ukia kiwa And our consolation today the disapostle has already laid it into our hearts Na ukia kisi usu mutumwa wa kilungu nwa weje kula kuingo wa see to The apostle has gone Mutumwa ni wendie And the apostle has left us with our responsibilities Na mutumwa ni wadutia tuina wea That he has been taking care of 
Pulau Lady, we are getting here. One has already been mentioned with the, by the district apostle. Umwe ni wawe, tuwa ni mutumwa wa kilungu. Walking with the Lord. Kwenda na mwenye. Forever and ever, let us remain and keep that into our heart. Kila hivinda, ni tuye uu, ngoo ni situ. For that's where our blessing is laid. He has been praying for us. And that is our duty to pray for him. So he lives a big task with us. For him he has gone to rest. And it is our duty and our task to see that things that has been in the hands of the apostle also the husband in their home and we are to you to see some of the other name or call the mom to more I think taken care of by the living name us so we want the other medal apostle thank you for the work that you have done to my name where the corner we are going to come here you have been loving and so social friendly to us on a day we will see a window walk in and do and we thank God that we can bid farewell to you the Lord be with you. Amen. 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 There's another person I want to call just one more. The uh, Apostle Wangare from Kilgoris. Uh, Kilgoris. In the border of Kenya, Tanzania. Please come on, sir. Sana kwaya Nemubea mono aini Wapendwa Uliofiwa Edwa alamutiwe Wapendwa mbalezaji Edwa alamukwea Wanugu na wadada katika kristo Edwa etuasa na anasa zinu wa kristo Naomba nchukue na fasi hitu kwa ufupi Nyo samwanya uu kwa ukubi Weza kuungana Kwa tunabamwe Na mtume wetu wa wilaya Na mtume wetu wa kilungu Pamoja na mtume wote walioko hapa Na mtume onde alame vano Hata wale wa kweza kufika Na alama tunatonye kufika Weze kusema pole Tuwa siye Iwe imu ya kia kisiye Kifo Katika maandiko inatajwa kuwa ni adui mkubwa Kiku maandiko ni kiele duta ndu ilanene 
tena imeandikwa vizuri ya kwamba wakati Kristo atakaporudi na yaliki tunaweza kana ila Kristo wisioka maadui wote watakamatwa ndusio nde sikafuatwa adui wa mwisho ambao ni hatari sana ni kifo na wa mwisho hiyo ula ni wambanga mno ni kiku yeye pia atakamatwa onake akafuatwa atafungwa na kobwa na mambo ya kifo haitakuwa tena na maunduma kiku maike yabo yingi lakini kabla ya hiyo wakati ende ibina yutuna bika hiyo kifo iko hapa duniani pamoja nasi kiko kike yulwa nde pamoja na itu kina tutembelea mara kwa mara nikibakula tu ibinda kwa ibinda kina tupokonya wapendwa na kitu pena endwa na tunafumilia na tukiumisia lakini haizoeleki ende kiumeka dada yetu bibi ya mtume muitwasa mtendesi wa mtumwa napenda kuongea na wewe kwa unyenyekevu nienda kwenye naku kwa wenyivyo wewe utakuwa umekosa bwana we bila wati wani mtumia watoto watakosa baba yao siana ni siati wani ile wo hiyo ni ukweli usuni wao wa ula wivo uwezi kuelewa kile halisi jambo hilo linalochukuliwa katika moyo wa kila mmoja ndoelewa ununusu wa sawanze ni wango ya kila umwe lakini Mungu wa mbinguni ende ngai wa ituni awape faraja ya pekee ya moyoni ngai amunenge ukia kisio wa mwanya wa ngoni sababu nyinyi pia nondo inwe otao mulienda kwa wengine waliokuwa wamefiwa ni mwendi kwa angela mati tunye nomo mukasema pole na mwamia ni pole mukapeana faraja mwama kiakisia hao watu wakafarijika na maa kiakika na maisha ikaendelea na dai wa maisha mapya kwende sasa leo imefika hapa kwenu nyumbani yuko munde ni babu sikwenyu kubali itikilai pole liye toka kwa mtume wetu mkuu mtume wetu wa wilaya kia kisolo mwa kulaba mtumwa waitu wa kilungu mbali pole iliyotoka katika majirani na marafiki zenu kia kisolo umiyekula kwe atui na nyenye menyu angalia vile umatu wa watu umejaa hapa si sayu ndo watu mengi bete mano wote wamekuja ili uweze kufarijika on the moki ni kana ubike kia kika tafadhali ufarijike ni kuiso ba kia kike na maisha iweze kwenda mbele na maundu madha ima yende ya tukiishi hapa duniani ila tu bayu luandi sisi ni wageni ili tu aini neno hilo linaelezwa mara kwa mara ndeto isu ni elezwa ibinda kwa ibinda kwamba sisi ni wageni kana ili tu aini sisi ni wapitaji na tu ya viti hapa si kwetu kuji kwitu wakati mwingine inakosa kueleweka maana yake mabinda angi undu undu eleka undu kwe uko maanisi lakini ikifika hapa ndio yavika ibidata yino tunafaa kulielewa jambo hilo vyema ni twende kuelewa undu huu nesa e, kama mimi nimetoka kuria ngawaji mtume mkuu mtume wilaya ninamenipea kiligori ita yenye nume de kuri yao atakutika mtume wa kiligori aze nume de kiligori sijai kuwa hapa hata siku moja ndio yavika ku ibinda na yeba leo ni siku yangu ya kwanza ndenya oni ndenya wa kwambe ndangalia mazingira yale vile hapa Mungu aliumba nina sisi ama wewe luko ngai uombe ite ni tofauti sana na mahali ninaishi nika bakoka ni mono na kula ni tuye hata tuko kwa njiani ona tuinziani mtume mmoja aliniuliza mtume mmoja engulisie mtume mara tukutafutie shamba hapa mtume mara tukumanzie kama una bano hapana nikasema hapana no azeka eka zezi kama hadi kapu kama hapa kikala kundu kuita huu nimezoea mahali green ni soete kundu kuna langi wa green mahali kuna chakula mingi kundu kuna leo mwingi hapa ninaogopa hani ngukia nafikiri kuna jua kali sana ni kwa te kwenda sio yingi mno kwa nini niki si kwetu tipitu lakini wale wako hapa ili alama ebano najua mko sawa nini si mwi sawa kwa sababu mko kwenu rudu mwi kwenu amuoni hiyo ninaona mimi mweko na kiunye ngona ninaona hiyo kwa sababu mimi ni mgeni naona kiuni kwa ni mwi niambia lazima nikae hapa waambia ni lazima nikale bano nitakutoroka ni ngusemba hivyo ndivyo ilivyo au ni mko hii duniani sio kwetu 
Hakuna mtu atakaa hapa milele. Baibu nuika labano tena tena. Kila mtu atatoka. Kila umwe akaumala. Sasa wapendwa familia ya mtume wetu nyamani kuondwa au endwa msi wa mtume wetu nyamai. Kubuka mzee ametangulia. Lilika na mtume ni watongosia. Na sisi tuko nyuma. Na hivi ni tuati. Hata siku ile Yesu alikufa wanamwela Yesu wakie wanafunzi walilia na wadada walilia amani wale maiye twasa ni maiye lakini Yesu akasema ene Yesu asia enda mkajililie iko dhimu yeye yu ene ata huyu mtume wetu ana mtume uno waitu usimulilie ukamuiye ujililie wewe yewe mwende kwa sababu bado uko katika dunia nunu huyo bai ruanda mali kuna magonjwa kula kuna mawao mali kuna njaa kula kuna nzaa mali kuna shida kula kuna madhina mali ambapo bado kuna ukosefu wa nidhamu kula kuna unakunyivi wa nemu ikalo msio utaendelea kuishi mali hapo ukaenda kala banu ni banu sasa unafaa kujililia kwamba wewe kwi ya wewe unisaidie kana ngai akotedie nisikia mtume wa Tanzania akasema na hiyo mtume wa Tanzania Asia ukiona shida uona dhina ita Mungu anyamai ita ngai wanyamai kwa sababu huyo Mungu hachaenda mahali nunu ngai usito na vibanda naye atakuja na kia koka naye atakusaidia na kia utedia na maisha itaenda mbele na uyende na maisha amen amen, amen. Dear brothers and sisters, now we have come to another moment. We want to go and uh, place the body of our apostle into the ground of burial. So I ask you to stand. We shall make a prayer, a short prayer. And then I will introduce all the apostles who are here. And then while I'm introducing them, those who will carry the body should get ready. Then we shall go to the burial site. So let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your grace. Heavenly Father, we have come to another moment. We want to go and place the body of our apostle into the ground. And to commit his soul and spirit into your hands. We are so thankful for that which you receive through him. The many prayers that he made for us when we didn't know how to pray. The many sacrifices that he made on our behalf. The many tears that he had to shed on our behalf. And there's much more which you saw which we didn't see. We give you thanks. And then we pray for his family. Please provide protection for this family. Provide care. That they receive what they need to sustain their lives. And they be consoled. Pray for the congregations that are remaining behind. We pray that they are consoled. All the brothers and sisters are consoled. That they cannot cry for the apostle. But instead be focused on where the apostle has gone. To be with the Lord. Let them receive this consolation in their hearts. Please surround us and protect us. As we march towards the burial site. We ask for your cover to be upon us. And to bless the remaining session. For we pray this in 
Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen.